Is this a, a teapot or a coffee pot? Is this a pepper mill or a salt grinder? It has an S on the end, but actually I uh, fill it with pepper. I only ever use salt when I'm baking bread. Um, as to whether this is a teapot or a coffee pot, we need to go back to our uh, maker. And uh, in our gospel today, we hear how Peter was informed by God our Father that Jesus is the Messiah, uh, the Anointed One. And it's a prompt for us always to go back to God uh, to find out what we're called to be and to do in every uh, given situation. And so uh, we give thanks for the lessons of the Gospel uh, today and uh, for those times when we haven't lived up to uh, its requests and its encouragement, we say sorry. As together we pray, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, when we have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When we have lived by the light of our own eyes, faithless and disbelieving, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And when we have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God who forgives all who truly repent, pardon, forgive and free you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So let's hear our collects for this the 11th Sunday after Trinity. O oh God, you declare your almighty power most chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Mercifully grant to us such a measure of your grace that we, running the way of your commandments, may receive your gracious promises and be made partakers of your heavenly treasure. And this we ask through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. So let's turn to our Holy Gospel. According to St. Matthew, glory to you, O Lord. Now when Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? And they answered, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others uh, Jeremiah, or just one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter replied, you are the Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed, the Son of the Living God. Then Jesus answered him, blessed, happy, spiritually secure, and favoured by God are you. Simon, son of Jonah, because flesh and blood, mortal man, did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overpower it by preventing the resurrection of Christ. I will give you the keys of authority of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind, forbid, declare to be improper and unlawful on earth, will have already been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose, permit, declare lawful on earth, will have already been loose in heaven. Then he gave the disciples strict orders to tell no one that he was the Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So let's declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as together we pray. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. 
We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so, in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let's pray to our Heavenly Father right now. God, you are the creator and preserver of us all. We pray for people in every kind of need. We ask you to make your ways known on the earth and your saving health among all nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the good estate of the universal church. We ask you to guide and govern us by your good spirit that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any way afflicted or distressed in body, mind, or estate. Comfort and relieve them in their need. Grant them patience in their sufferings and bring good out of each and every one of their afflictions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember to those who have gone before us in the peace of Christ, and we give you praise for all of your faithful ones with whom we rejoice in the communion of saints. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let's just have a few moments for whatever's big in our hearts and minds this day. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread and wine to set before you, fruit of the earth, and vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. Wise and gracious God, you spread a table before us. Nourish your people with the word of life and the bread of heaven. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. From sunrise to sunset, this day is holy. The Christ was risen from the tomb and scattered the darkness of death with the light that will not fade. This day the risen Lord walks with your gathered people, unfolds for us your word and makes himself known in the breaking of bread. And though the night will overtake this day, you summon us to live in endless light, the never ceasing Sabbath of the Lord. And so with choirs of angels and all the heavenly hosts, we proclaim your glory and join their unending hymn of praise as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts. The broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. 
On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, shared it with them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took a cup of wine again, he gave you thanks, shared it and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. We plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We set before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, for dying you destroyed our death. Rising you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth and your kingdom comes. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with St. Andrew, St. Mary, St. Swithins and all the saints to be with you forever at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence, just as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death, until he comes in glory. God's holy gifts with God's holy people. Body of Christ broken for us. blood of Christ shed for us. So let us pray. Lord of all mercy, we, your faithful people, have celebrated that one true sacrifice which takes away our sins and brings pardon and peace. By our communion, keep us firm on the foundation of the gospel and preserve us from all sin. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Together we pray, Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, you declared your love, gave us grace and opened those gates of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring light to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so that we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, mighty God, bless each and every one of you, those you love, and those you call, and sometimes challenge to love, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, we will.